Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, December the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like this is our last really cold morning for at least a few days anyway, perhaps as much as a week. Let's take a look at the SkyCam network this morning. There's Montevallo, and we can see the sun beginning to peak over the horizon with a clear sky, which allowed temperatures to plummet to around 20 degrees with uh, some values getting into the teens. There's a great shot of the uh, Fayette County Courthouse with some of the lights on the building that the camera is located on. And then finally a shot down at Clanton as we look at the courthouse with all the decorations down there as we proceed towards New Year's. Surface high positioned over southwestern Alabama. And of course that allowed the skies to really clear out yesterday. And of course with those clear skies we saw good deal of radiational cooling. Fortunately for us though, we're beginning to see a change to warmer conditions. We got a little short wave that's coming out of the Four Corners area that's going to be coming across and could give some rain, especially south of uh, Birmingham and down across the south part of the, the Gulf Coast area of Alabama and northwest Florida uh, in the next couple of days. But uh, as that high surface high moves over to the east, it's going to be returning moisture our way. As I said, temperatures are quite chilly this morning. Uh, all that dark blue area that you see that looks like this, you know, attacking amoeba or something, uh, all those values are in the uh, basically in the teens between 10 and 20 degrees. Across central Alabama, the uh, temperatures range from about 16 at Gadsden and Anniston to 21 at Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. Uh, 12, I noticed there at Fort Payne, so temperature is really, really chilly, but this looks like the last really cold morning, uh, at least for a few days. Watch warning map has shifted from the east coast to the west coast or the western United States with all of those uh, value or all those colors you see out there over the Rockies. Uh, all those are winter storm watches, warnings, and advisories, and uh, certainly uh, the next storm system coming our way. In the meantime, it looks like for the next five days uh, through uh, from 12Z Tuesday through 12Z Sunday, looks like we could see uh, a good deal of precipitation along the Gulf Coast. Um, I'm I'm a little pessimistic on those values being quite that high, but uh, it certainly looks like a good rain event. And for day two, we're watching how much the uh, deep layer moisture is going to be returning uh, over uh, the northwestern Gulf uh, Coast area from um, east and um, Gulf Coast uh, Texas over into Louisiana and uh, edging into or very close to southwest Alabama. 06 GFS model run this morning, and there's the surface high where it's expected to be uh, by noontime today uh, as uh, it keeps the weather calm over the southeastern U.S. That little short wave begins to kick across Texas on uh, Wednesday, and as it does, of course, that's going to help to enhance uh, moisture and uh, precipitation. Uh, the high pressure has moved off over to Jacksonville, and as it does, of course, you can see really good return flow up the Mississippi River and just to areas just to the west. So that's going to help to uh, add to the precipitation over that direction. But it stays away from us on Wednesday. Thursday, the little short wave moves by us as it dampens out, and that will uh, allow us to have at least the possibility of some showers, with most of those showers to the south. But again, the possibility that uh, we'll see some isolated to scattered showers. The ridge takes hold on the east coast, and boy, that's going to be a warm-up. Maybe that'll melt some of the some of the snow that has occurred up the uh, mid-Atlantic uh, states over the last couple of days as the deep closed low begins to kick out of the Rockies, and uh, that will be moving to the north and northeast. Of course, as it does, it's going to bring a storm system up, up to Chicago and a front down our way. So it looks like uh, Friday could be uh, a day where we see some uh, showers as well. That big closed low does kick into the western Great Lakes by Saturday, and that should give us a pretty wet day. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an all-day thing, but it's certainly a wet day for January the 1st as we head into 2011. And, of course, that big old low gets up into Canada, and another one begins to dig in behind it uh, into the southern Rockies. And that means that, um, and we got some differences here between the GFS and the uh, European. European a little more progressive in moving that through, the GFS a little slower. 
I don't know. I kind of like the GFS a little bit uh, here. Uh, I think uh, with that flow aloft, well, we could see the precipitation kind of kind of hang around a little bit. But by noon on the second, it looks like we should be dry. And as the flow, the upper flow on the third Monday, becomes uh, more. Uh, zonal to southwesterly a little bit, of course. That means there's not going to be a lot of push for that moisture to stay uh, away from us. So it's it's kind of across, draped across maybe the southern portion of Georgia, southern portion of Alabama, but uh, uh, the possibility that we might see some showers. And then finally, a week from today, that zonal flow continues. So the bottom line is we're not going to be seeing much in the way of changes. It looks like uh, partly cloudy skies and relatively mild, especially compared to what we've seen in the just recent past and for much of December, actually. Now, one of the things that the uh, voodoo country shows us here is uh, how uh, we are staying in a very progressive pattern with systems coming through regularly. Uh, this is the 8th of January, 2011, and there's another deep uh, trough with a closed low over Pennsylvania, and that means uh, a cold and wet event there. And then by the 12th, at the very end of the period, another uh, short wave or uh, fairly substantial wave coming through the flow, the result being that another weather system there. So the bottom line is in Voodoo, nothing specific, but at least we're going to see a progression of systems. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. Hope that you have a great Tuesday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.